Hello everybody, Dr. F. Scott Field here, and I'd like to introduce you to our newest sponsor. The NPTE Final Frontier is the review course that I wish was around when I took the board exam. For those of you who know my story, it took me a handful of times to pass that exam, and quite frankly, I really wish I had an, a, an exam review course around, uh, just like the NPTE Final Frontier. Uh, check out their website, npteff.com, and use the code HET at checkout for 10% off to all of our listeners and fans. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Teach Me Something Tuesday at the Healthcare Education Transformation Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. F. Scott Field. Uh, this week's Teach Me Something Tuesday is all about course design. One of the things that you have to take in mind in order to get optimal student learning is the pre-planning phase. And when we look at the pre-planning phase of any course or anything you're going to teach, any lesson, we really need to look ahead of time and we need to look at things like learning outcomes, uh, assessments, you know, how the students are going to be tested, texts, right, which textbooks, which uh, research articles, you know, what readings do we need to get them up to speed, activities, what activities are the students going to partake in, right, teacher strengths, what are our strengths, how do we best teach towards things, teaching methods, what methods are we going to use to teach these things, technology, and what technology or platform is going to be used to teach this stuff, and then last but not least, uh, your syllabus or your roadmap. Uh, one of the things that I've started trying to do, and I haven't fully implemented it yet because I'm still kind of waiting to see how it's going to shake out because I've only been using it for myself as of right now. Um, but one of the things that I've tried to do is uh, what I like to call a graphic syllabus. Uh, and it's almost like a flow chart. Uh, it, it, it is kind of like a picture roadmap, if you will, of the syllabus and you know some of the learning objectives and how I plan to achieve those learning objectives. Um, and again, this all comes in months in advance when you're pre-planning a course um, and you're thinking about the design of the course, right? For me, I, I, I'm more of a visual type learner, so I like to look and see the big picture and what the winding road looks like to get from point A to point B. Again, when you're when you're designing a course, if you have the uh, benefit of of designing a course from scratch and creating a course from scratch, which is what I love to do, I love curriculum development, I love course development and designing courses and and lessons. If you have that benefit, then by all means, like I said, start ahead of time, lay out all those things and options, write down the the things that you're going to need to to benefit and maximize and optimize student learning, and then plan it all out, plan out your roadmap and, and kind of write your syllabus. For us, we have a, a very specific syllabus that uh, kind of has to be followed in a specific format, which is why I don't know that the, um, the visual syllabus is going to work the way that I thought it might, like the graphic version of it. Um, but I think it could work at the very least for myself, uh, you know, might work for students too. Maybe I'll release it, um, you know, on the side, but I want to try it for a semester or two for myself and just see how it works. So again, big picture, think of your course design. Think of all the aspects that have to be taken into account to execute this course design. And then try to lay out your syllabus or your roadmap. And if you're a visual learner, like I said, try visual syllabus. Hope that helped. And we'll see you guys on the next Teach Me Something Tuesday.